Oh my gosh. I feel like we don't need topper back to back. Hello everyone, I'm Shu and I create beauty content here on YouTube and also on Instagram. I'm really excited today to be filming a makeup tutorial for Glowish and they decided to send me Patrick Ta's um, Major Dimension eyeshadow palette and I am just super thrilled right now to be playing with this palette. I'm still a little bit shocked that I have gotten this palette and you know this has been on my wish list because I've been hearing about this palette a lot and I was telling myself that this Christmas this palette is gonna be mine but you know Christmas came early for me. I'm just honestly so thrilled to be using this palette today and having a chance to review for you guys. So first of all, this palette retails at $68 and that's pretty steep for a neutral eyeshadow palette. This only contains 12 eyeshadows so this might throw some people off the bet, the price point. But the innovative thing about this palette is that he added two cream eyeshadows within this palette and also added a cover, a flat on top of these cream products. You know that cream products tend to dry up faster so this is pretty innovative and um, smart that he kind of went and added this flap and maybe that's the reason why it's retailed at $70 you know it's more for the packaging but then again the formulation of these shades are just amazing because I'm gonna show you guys the swatches next but let's talk about this palette briefly so I'm just pulling up Patrick Ta's website and I'm gonna read you guys about this product this is a versatile eyeshadow palette that contains two luminous cream bases they are fantastic and then uh, velvety matte and iridescent metallic eyeshadows and glistening pearl toppers i love the toppers here i can't get enough of toppers i just love glitter and toppers in general so the benefits and features of this eyeshadow palette is um, this unique eyeshadow palette features both cream and powder shades in a variety of warm and cool tones perfect for creating everything from everyday looks to event glams which I completely agree. I created daytime looks with this and also kind of like a nighttime appropriate look which I have on right now. I feel like this is a very versatile neutral eyeshadow palette for sure. But that's the gist about this palette. Now let's go over the swatches. I'm pretty sure you guys are here for the swatches and you want to stick around because they are super. So I said to swatch these two cream products first. The lighter shade is called Lady and the darker cream color is called Women and I love the names. They are super fun and super feminine. Yeah, they swatch beautifully. I love them. Um, and they apply on the eyes super amazing as well so love these two cream shades so I decided to swatch the top row first and then the second row later from left to right so the first four that I had decided to swatch this one is called exquisite a gorgeous metallic deep brown it's super super gorgeous and then the next one is called legendary this is a topper shade and this is a super gorgeous shade as well and then we have lavish this is a nice light brown shade with tiny micro glitters in it it is so so gorgeous and then we have another topper this is called opulence and oh my gosh i love love this topper it is a nice champagne kind of shade and then the last one on the top row is called abundance and this is another topper shade i wish that he added something else here um i feel like we don't need topper back to back but this is a gorgeous vanilla shade it's just super reflective love this shade as well so the first deep brown shade is called scandal and this is a dark cool tone brown shade and then next to it we have a warm 
a deep brown shade. This is called Mother. And then next to it, we have Absolutely. It's a nice everyday brown shade. It leans a little bit towards like the neutral warm brown. And then next to it, we have Transition. It's the perfect name for it because this is a great transition color. It didn't swatch very well on my skin tone because I feel like it it is like the closest shade to my skin tone. And then last but not least, we have Divine. And, and Divine is not a complete matte shade. It has a lot of micro glitters in it as well. This shade swatched amazing. It's super, super pigmented. And it has like a lot of silver glitters in it. It's just gorgeous. So this is just of all of these eyeshadows swatched on my arm. Uh, I apologize for sloppy swatches, but oh my gosh. The color story is just phenomenal. I love the cream shades here and the textures are amazing. So now let's move on to my eye makeup look. So the first look that I have created, very, very simple. I decided to go in with a transition color all over my lids just to place that base shade first. And then I decided to go in with absolutely just to deepen out my outer corners and to create a little bit more depth. I decided to use this cream base called Lady on top of these powder shades and it worked amazing. There's like no um, harsh lines or you know that weird muddy uh, effect. It just blended out amazing. So I love applying on cream on top of powder. It just works fantastic. And then uh, for my lid shade, I went in with lavish and just to create a very simple neutral look i decided to keep all of the brown shades on my eyes and it worked amazing and for my inner tear duct i went in with this shade called divine and i placed that um, on my inner tear duct and also a little bit on my brow bow just to complete the look um, i went in with also i believe scandal on my lower lash line on the outer corners and it's just that's it that's my very natural look for daytime appropriate um i will wear this look out to like work and running my errands and etc it's just a gorgeous daytime look so instead of erasing my whole entire look you know so much work have been put for my first look I decided to keep my first look and just added deeper shades to transition it into like the nighttime appropriate look. So I went in with Scandal again on the outer corners on my upper lid shade. I just smoked this color out um, a little at a time. I picked up the product a little at a time to really help smoke out my look and it's just gorgeous i love this deep brown shade it blends amazing and then for my top of shade i decided to go in with opulence if you watch rupaul opulence you own everything opulence so this is a gorgeous top of shade i said to use my fingers with it ladies you don't need a brush for this just use your fingertips to apply on any of these topper shades and it works amazing. I applied it with my middle finger um, on this shade called Opulence and I applied, I pressed that color on top of my lids and oh my gosh, it is just so, so beautiful. I believe I used a little bit of abundance on my lower lash line. Yeah, and then I deepen out my outer um, lower lash line as well with the same shade scandal just to smoke it out even further and oh my gosh that was a very simple second look transitioning off from the daytime to nighttime is just a no-brainer kind of look it's just so simple to create i'm so happy that he decided to pick browns that really work well with each other and it's just amazing so for my third and final look it is what i have on right now currently and i decided to erase my first and second look all together with a makeup wipe and i decided to start from scratch so i applied on sigma's um 
eyeshadow base primer um, first in Persuade and then I decided to go in with the deeper cream color this one is called women I applied that all over my lids and it applied on so smoothly and it blends amazing um, I really wanted to use these deeper glitter shades so I went in with exquisite all over my lids afterwards and oh my gosh this color it's super super gorgeous this is like a really nice metallic sort of bronze shade it's, it's gorgeous um, and then I decided to be extra um, and then I decided to use legendary on top of Visit, and this is the outcome of my eye makeup look it's so so beautiful this is the outcome of my eye makeup look I added liner um, I smoked out my bottom lash line with um, scandal but this is the last and final look that I have decided to create so for my final thoughts on Patrick Ta's Major Dimension Eyeshadow Palette is a highly rated positive one. All of these colors and the formulation of these eyeshadows is just super amazing. And it feels so effortless to create looks with this. This is like my comfort zone when it comes to eyeshadow colors in general. I tend to reach for brownie shades. I feel like it really helps complement my skin tone and hair color and etc. It's just a no-brainer palette. If you love neutral eyeshadow palettes, I would definitely get it but I will wait for some sort of sale or some sort of deal because you need to be smart when you are purchasing makeup in general you don't want to pay full price for it but if you have the funds to spend by all means get this palette you won't be disappointed I am so in love with it and I am thankful that Glowish decided to reach out to me and send me this palette to review. Thank you again Glowish. If you guys like my review and tutorial etc, make sure to follow me on its shoe. Thank you so much for watching and take care everyone.